Hi DIY Science, I'm Zach. Using materials that you can find in a kitchen, you can make a lava lamp. To make a lava lamp, this is what you're going to need. You're going to need something to hold all the liquid in. In this video I'm going to use a cup. You'll need water. You'll need some food colouring to dye the water. You will also need some cooking oil. And finally you'll need some aspirin to make some bubbles with. So using all those materials, you are now ready to make a lava lamp. The first thing you want to do is get your cup and pour some water in it. Don't fill it up all the way, fill it up to about one third to halfway. Now pour in some food colouring. If you pour the food colouring in really slowly and watch what happens, it makes some really nice patterns. Now pour in your cooking oil, but make sure that you don't fill it all the way to the top. Leave a gap, otherwise things will get really messy. And here you can notice that the water and the oil isn't mixing. The reason why oil and water doesn't mix is because water is a polar molecule and the oil is a non-polar molecule. Think about a magnet. A magnet has a north pole and it also has a south pole. Or sometimes we say that it has a positive side and a negative side. If you sit two magnets side by side and the poles closest to each other are different, then they are attracted to each other and they pull each other in. But if you sit magnets side by side to each other and their poles are different, then those poles, they're not attracted to each other and they actually push away from each other. Here we have a water molecule. A water molecule sometimes is referred to as H2O and what that means is that the water molecule has two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Because of how the water molecule is shaped with the hydrogens on one end and the oxygen on the other end it actually means that it has poles very similar to a magnet where it has a positive charge on one end and a negative charge on the other end. If you have a whole lot of water molecules close by, they'll behave like magnets do. The ends that have a positive charge will be attracted to the ends that have a negative charge and they all start pulling in close to each other and what happens is that they all line up in the same order with a positive end and a negative end. Here we have an oil molecule and this is a non-polar molecule. Now this is a very rough drawing of an oil molecule. There are many different types of oil molecules out there, but they generally are big, long chains of atoms with a similar structure. Here in this oil molecule, you can see that the positive charges are actually in the center of the atom. And on the outside is where all the negative charges are. And because of this, the oil molecule doesn't have a positive end and a negative end. And when you poured the oil and the water into the cup, you saw that they didn't mix. That the water was at the bottom and the oil was at the top. And the reason why this is, is because water is a polar molecule and oil is a non-polar molecule. Polar molecules, they like to mix together and stick to each other. Whereas non-polar molecules, they don't like to do that. And so the two don't mix together. However, where you can see that the water molecules meet the oil molecules, the positive ends of the water molecules are touching the negative outside of the oil molecules. And that's the only time that they will meet. Now we know why water and oil doesn't mix. To make your lava lamp go, just pick up your aspirin and pop it into the cup. Try making some lava lamps with some different colors, just like what I've done here. You can see that all these bubbles of water are floating up into the oil 
but it's still not mixing. So why won't it still mix? Well, as the bubble of water molecules rises, you can see that all of its positive ends face outwards to the negative outside of the oil molecules, just like magnets behave. As that bubble of water rises up to the surface, all the gas comes out and then it floats back down until it rejoins the water again. DIY science viewers, click subscribe if you like the DIY lava lamp. Share your attempts in the comments section below or if you'd used any different materials. Thank you.